Hi everybody! Look what I got! And today is the end of the month. It is the end of March. So this is all the stuff that I have been using all month long. Or I've been using it. And I'm here to share with you guys my empties of March. Um, I... <laughs> I actually wanted to finish a couple things before the end, but I still have a little bit left, so you guys will have to see that. But I want to try to use at least like a body wash a month and a new shampoo a month, but I just couldn't do it. I wash my hair all the time. You know, I probably use more than average, but I just could not finish at a time. But I'm here to share with you guys what I all emptied for the month of March. You guys will see this. This is a repeat item. I use this all the time you guys saw the video that I did get ready with me you guys will see some of the products that I use but uh, this is herbal essence now this one is the totally twisted curling boosting mousse now there's another one and I think they discontinued that recently but they're very similar to each other they're both purple and they both they have like a little bit of a different picture but one's like a curl mousse and the other one's like I can't remember a wave or something but I love this stuff all I do is when my hair is wet in the morning I, you know I put it in a part and then I, I shake it and then I spray it in my hands and I separate it in two piles and then I just like scrunch it and then I let it air dry so like sometimes my hair looks like it's still wet or like it's crispy it's because there's a lot of mousse in it but I just kind of comb it out and then one thing that I do love about this like if it's really humid outside or super windy or something I can just go in the bathroom get my hands wet and just kind of scrunch it all over again and it looks like it was like you know just done and my hair doesn't my hair does get frizzy in the summertime but I've been putting hairspray on that so this is what I use and I if you guys like to have this kind of hair now some of you guys say it doesn't work I have naturally wavy curly hair so this does help but I don't know my favorite I've been using this stuff for like 10 years if they ever discontinue this I'm a very sad camper um one thing that I have been using lately, my husband was trying to get rid of some of this stuff. And I'm like, no, no, don't get rid of that. I wanted to try it. He's like, why? I says, because I'm like, at that age, I'm in my mid-30s. And I need to start, like, repairing my face a little bit. Like, um, a lot of you guys said you cringed how I put my makeup on. And I'm just like, you know, that's just how I do it. I've been doing that for years. And I never used to take makeup off at night. But now I've been slowly taking makeup off and then putting moisturizer on my face. But these are the Rock or ROC uh, Daily Re Re Resurfacing Discs. Now these were a money maker at Walgreens a couple months ago. Um, I wanted to get more, but a lot of sh stores were having Catalina problems. But um, this basically wants, they give you 28 discs and you're supposed to use it every single day. There's like a dotted side that's a little bit rough and then there's a smoother side. Now I do this while I'm in the shower because I find it easier to use because what you got to do is wash your face and I feel like I'm already in the shower. I can just do it and then rinse it off already. So I have these in the shower with me. Um, I find it, I don't know if I've noticed the difference, but it says just after one week, the appearance of fine lines is reduced. Skin tone and texture is improved. Now I did take a picture when I started doing this and I have to take an after picture, but I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer. Um, it says after four weeks, the signs of photo aging appear diminished. So I don't know if that is like when I smile, I still get wrinkles, but I feel like they've gone away a little bit. Um, and then it says after 12 weeks, the appearance of wrinkles and pour are, pores are diminished. So I don't know. And the husband's like, I want to use that too. And I'm like, no, you don't really need it. I mean, he could use it, but he doesn't have like the facial problems like women do. I don't, I don't know. But if, but he likes to use the wipes after I'm done. I mean, I just use it once and then he takes them, which whatever, if you need to use them, go for it. So I really, I don't know about this product. I like using it. I don't know if I've seen a huge difference for it, but I'm going to continue using it and just see what happens. I finally finished off my bottle of scope. Husband and I do not do mouthwash very often and I should because then it gets certain spots that you can't brush your teeth um, I'm not really brand loyal. I've always grew up with scope and I really like the the green one or I don't even know what flavor it is It's probably like winter long. It doesn't even say but I've always been a big fan of this So I'm like husband. We need to really start using 
um, mouthwash. So I got finally finished off the mouthwash. I was super excited. Um, my son is obsessed with bath bombs lately, and I am going to do a bath bomb video of how to make bath bombs. You guys will just have to be prepared for that. I got so much crazy stuff going on that I want to show you. It's just I got to do it when my kid's not being a little stinker. But this one was the popsicle. We got this from the Dollar Tree. If I ever find more, I want to buy a bunch more because I love the smell of these. They they are a great time to just dis, dis, disappear. But this was the popsicle. It's called Melt My Heart Cherry. Um, you can still smell it. It smells really good, and he loves these. So I would recommend these if your kids love bath bombs. So there's that one. And then we used the three-pack. Um, this one was the English Rose Blossom. I'm not a big fan of the smell, but there were three little ones. They did disappear pretty fast. Like, he asked if he could have another one towards this one last a little bit longer. But, I mean, there's just little small ones. But for him, he gets the excitement off of bath bombs. So I'm like, whatever. And I wish I got more of these just because for certain reasons. So there's that. This is a toothpaste we are using. Um, we have some toothpaste that is going to be expiring soon because we, back when I st started couponing, I put all my stockpile up in my bathroom. And I'm like, okay, this is getting to be too full. So then we started just leaving everything where I do my videos. So just need to use this. This is the Colgate uh, Advanced Fresh Whitening. It's okay. I'm used to it. I don't, it, it's not one of my favorite toothpaste, but I mean, I like Colgate. So, I'm not complaining, but that's the toothpaste that I'm using. Um, I started using this um, lip lip balm or whatever. It is the Revlon Kiss Balm, and this is the strawberries. Now, I use this at work. I really like it. It does do a good job with the lips, but I do notice that it bleeds. Like, I put it on my lips, and then I can see it like go past my lip line. So it does bleed, even though I don't do anything. It does bleed. But it does, it does do a certain, it does like pink on up your lips. But the only thing I don't like is it bleeds past your lips. I mean, you could just wipe it right off, but it's still good. I mean, I got that nice scent to it. I tried a bath bomb for the very first time um, when I was sick with the flu at the beginning of the month. I'm like, I told the husband, I'm like, I need to like take a bath and just relax because I was just so miserable. So I got a bath bomb that I got at um, Victoria's Secret and this one's called Ice Ice Baby. It's candied strawberries. Now I went back to look for more. This must be their favorite scent because this I could not find, but this one smelled awesome. It made the bathtub pink. Um, and it took a long time for it to disintegrate. So if you guys ever need freebies or something, like the, I know the Pink Pink Nation, if you guys download that app, I should do a video for it. But if you guys ever download that app, they do freebies all the time. Like I got a free, I got a couple free items from them. But uh, all you have to do is just buy one item, any pink item. So I just buy a bath bomb because these are like $3.95. So really love that smell. Um, Victoria's Secret, my favorite, favorite, favorite smell ever is the pure or Amber Romance for Victoria's Secret. Now, when I first started doing YouTube, I did a video of how to get free things from Victoria's Secret with their reward cards. Well, they stopped doing that, but I ended up getting like $150 of free money at Victoria's Secret, and every card was only worth like 10 bucks, and you could not combine them. So I ended up buying like stuff for 10 bucks and one thing I bought was a lot of these perfumes and I bought a lot of body spray. I still have a lot of the perfumes and I still have a lot of the body spray. It is my favorite scent. My husband's like, you should get rid of this stuff. I'm like, nope, that's the one thing I will not get rid of. It's still good and I absolutely love it. So I finally finished off these bad boys. All they are is just a bottle and then it's just a spray but it's empty. Um, this is like perfume, it's not like the body wash but or body spray, but this is like perfume, it's in a glass bottle, and I absolutely love this. I think they discontinued these a while back ago, but these were five bucks a piece, and I ended up getting like two of them at a time because they were my favorite. Um, this candle was the bourbon salted caramel or caramel. 
I actually really liked this stuff. I love the way it smelled. I love the way it burned. Um, it actually burnt down pretty fast. Like I've been doing a couple of these and they don't burn down, but this one burnt down pretty fast. It also had a great like smell aroma to it. Like I always loved burning this. So if I ever find more of these, I'm going to get more of these of the bourbon salted caramel. Um, I just feel like it was a really great smell. And you can't really smell the bourbon. Maybe you can, I just don't drink bourbon, but I, you could really smell off the uh, caramel, but I mean, it, it did burn pretty good. You know, I mean, I they usually say don't let it burn for more than four hours, and there were times where I had it like burning all night long. So, but I would definitely recommend this one. This one was one of my favorite Dollar Tree candles. Um, Sephora, this is the, uh, I want to say mascara. This is the makeup that I use, the foundation. Um, I like this stuff. I'm such fair skin that it's hard to find makeup that fits me. And then every time you get um, drugstore makeup, I feel like you get attached to something, they discontinue it or change it. So it's like I don't really want to get attached to it. And this stuff's just as fine. Um, all you do is, is you just squirt it. I put it on my makeup brush and you know put it all over my face. If you guys saw my Get Ready With video, you guys saw the one that I got. So this is a repeat buy. Um, I even have another one. Look at that. I got three of them. I didn't realize I had three of them. Look at that. Yeah. Um, the one thing I also had was the Neutrogena makeup removers. Now, the stupid... I wish they did a better, a better stick-on thing for this. So this kept coming off and off and off. And I'm like, okay, I got to use it before it dries up. So I ended up putting it in a Ziploc baggie just so it didn't dry up. But the, this, this label was not good at all. But the one thing is I've been trying different makeup removers. I really like this makeup remover. I liked how it, it's a whole like wipe. It's not like a little thing. And it took all my makeup off. You know, I, I did flip it a couple times. But I, I find the Neutrogena makeup removers were probably one of my favorites. So I got to use a lot of my other stuff up before I use more of these. But this is a repeat item that I'm going to definitely be using in the future. And then the last item that I got is the Genki Candle. Now I get this free... Not this winter, but last winter, um, they had it where if you buy anything in the store, you get a free thing of this. So I ended up getting the Alpine Martini. Now, I do not like pine. I'm kind of allergic to pine. Um, so when I smelled it, when I first lit it, I'm just like, oh, I can't handle it. And then the husband's like, you, no, don't light that because you guys are going to get sick. But I kind of slowly started lighting it. Um, it didn't burn all the way. I mean, there's still a good chunk of it left, but the wick is pretty much done for. It's done. So, I mean, it didn't burn very well, and it did leave a lot of the black soot on top. But, I mean, I did like the smell. I will probably not get the scent again. I like apple. I just don't like the pine smell to it. But uh, it did smell good. But, I don't know. Yankee Candles are supposed to be the best, but I was... I'm okay with getting other brands of candles, but I just didn't like the black ring around this, but yeah. So that was my empties little thing to share with you guys. I know a lot of you guys like to see what we get for couponing, and I can share with you guys what I got to give you my opinion. I love to hear your guys' opinion on any of these items. You know, it's great that, you know, to find out, try before you guys buy or something like that. But you guys know the drill. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button so you guys can see more empties videos. I usually post them on the last day of the month. And I will see you guys all the end of April for another empties video. See you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.